VEM Technologies has signed a memorandum of understanding with the Telangana state government for setting up a 1,000 crore integrated defense facility in the state. The facility will be spread over 511 acres and will have a full-fledged facility for the manufacturing of fighter jets, helicopters, missiles, seekers, avionics, naval systems, unmanned aerial systems, medium and large aero and naval structures, radar systems, aero engines and hot and cold integration. VEM Technologies is the first private sector unit to make a central fuselage for the Tejas Light Combat Aircraft and is a production partner for the BrahMos missile, Indo-Israeli MR-SAM missile and Astra air-to-air -air missile, and provides highly complex structure assemblies power electronics and control actuation systems for fighter jets helicopters and UAVs, and this new facility will meet the current and upcoming orders. Officials have said that the 75 km range guided version of the Pinaka rockets was successfully demonstrated by the DRDO in February 2020, but the case for procuring the guided rockets has not moved ahead, due to technicalities related to testing and validation. Officials have said that an upgrade would be required in the launcher systems for the extended range rockets, and without the upgrade, the rockets will not be able to demonstrate accurate hits at over 75 kilometers. The pinnacle launchers are currently not available for validation tests, while efforts are being made to upgrade the launchers in the newer systems which have been ordered by the Indian Army, but no progress has been made on the upgrade yet. According to latest reports, the Tapas PH-201 indigenous medium-altitude long-endurance UAV has completed more than 110 flights with different payload configurations and mission profiles. The new 220-horsepower engine variant will power the next flight test in early 2022, while the Indian military will start the user trials from the second quarter of 2022. The DRDO's new Archer armed UAV will start trials this month, and will be India's counter to any potential acquisition of the Turkish Bayraktar TB2 drones by Pakistan. With India about to sign the formal agreement for the local manufacturing of 6.5 lakh AK-203 rifles, Pakistan has now reached out to Turkey, for the local manufacturing of 1 lakh MPT-76 rifles in its ordnance factories under transfer of technology, and the contract is likely to be signed in mid-2022. Pakistan is also in discussions with a South African firm Truvlo, for a transfer of technology to manufacture its Raptor rifle. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has said that the next edition of the Defense Expo will provide an overview of what India has been able to achieve in terms of defense research and development, production and application of modern defense technologies. India's defense exports have grown by 334% in the last five years, and now India is exporting military equipment to more than 75 countries. The Defense Secretary has said that efforts are being made to promote defense exports to friendly foreign countries, and India is open to provide line of credit for those nations which are looking to source defense equipment from India. India and UK have started the first ever Tri-Services Joint Exercise Konkan Shakti 2021 off the west coast of India. All participating units were split into two opposing forces with the aim of achieving sea control, and the exercise also included strikes by the combined formation of MiG-29 KSU-30 and F-35 aircraft. The subsurface exercises is being conducted with an Indian Scorpion-class submarine, P-8 aircraft and the IMAT underwater remote-controlled vehicle operated by the Royal Navy. Oh,